dear fellow subscribers greetings from portugal nuno here once again uh first of all sorry for my lack of videos you know i'm long overdue to release a new video for my subscribers my my followers my new subscribers that i'm uh, uh, welcoming to this uh, channel that talks about tech as you know and uh, uh, you know today i feel in the mood and also there is uh, some particular as you can see in the in the title uh, this video is related to uh, you know some small tax tasks that you can do on a regular basis to keep your Mac running you know smooth and uh, everything runs well and this video comes because uh, I really released uh, almost the same version of this video about two years ago but of course uh, after these two years we are with another operating system and uh, regarding the fact that you can do almost the same thing about cleaning your Mac and uh, keeping everything clean uh, this video that I made two years ago uh, has uh, lots and lots of um, of uh, you know comments and interaction and that's why uh, I'm making a new one because in that video I, I put a program uh, an application that uh, uh, it is in fact uh, an application that I don't use anymore in the days in that days uh, I use it I, uh, and it was called Mac Keeper but you know because all the negative advertising I think that's uh, you know I don't like that and uh, I don't have it in my system and uh, that's why I'm I'm making a new one not because of Mac Keeper I have another another type of applications that I run on a regular basis applications that are already in your Mac okay and also third-party applications that you can use uh, in order to uh, perform that uh, regular tasks okay so first of all as you can see my desktop is clean okay that's uh, you know uh, I, I was a Windows user and you remember and when I see Windows users I don't this is not a, a, a you know a controversy between Windows and Mac I don't like that because I also have Windows computers here my my daughters for example use uh, Windows computers and um, okay I have nothing nothing about uh, against uh, Windows um, but you know it's uh, it's common to windows users to have all the folders in the you know in the desktop uh, for me uh, and i learn with others it's best to keep your mac clean and organized okay i know it's sometimes uh, people are different and uh, you know they that's the way i like to to do it okay and uh, you don't when you start a computer and everything you don't have all that time you know uh, uh, and uh, for the computer you know to put everything in the desktop uh, so it slows the computer and everything so i keep my desktop clean and everything well organized but that's the way i am uh, i like to keep things organized okay so one of the things that uh, I use uh, on on my computer uh, I make and that is of course in your system preferences this is in Portuguese but you know all the layout uh, that is the the not on system on 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 system preferences on util on utilities you go to disk utility okay and perform at least you know once a week, once a, a month uh, repair your permissions in your in your disk okay that's uh, you know one of the issues that that new users of Macintosh that don't know and in fact you you, you will see uh, an increase and uh, everything flows very well uh, if you do this uh, repair your permissions in your in your hard, hard drive or SSD uh, where you have your main operating system okay so I do this on a, a regular basis for for example when you install 
uh, a new update of your operating system, you will see that uh, there are permissions to be repaired. Okay, so do this at least uh, once a month. That's the way I like it because I do it in about in a two weeks period. But that's me. Okay, so this is one of the things that is integrated in your Mac, and you can do it. Uh, after watching this video and you will see in fact a difference okay and make a reboot and you will see everything uh, it's a little bit faster okay now there are there are, there are of course some other uh, things that I do one of the applications that I use it's called cocktail and uh, cocktail it's a it's an application that uh, allows you to to make lots and lots of things okay and um, i'm not doing of course uh, you know it allows you to make repair permissions uh, some guys drilling holes but i will not uh, well i will keep calm okay <laughs> uh, the time for sleep and some miscellaneous and everything your system so you can you can you can go ahead uh, and uh, I think that is a, a trial version for for cocktail but there is a pilot here that allows you to so it's gathering information now and allows you to uh, select select maintenance tasks okay so uh, clear catch, uh, the catches from the system, the user, the internet, repair disk permission, clear log files. And there are lots and lots of things, okay? I will not do this now, but uh, uh, if I do this, you know, it keeps your Mac clean of everything. So remember, cocktail, okay? Uh, let's skip this. Another thing that is very, very important and uh, I made that mistake when I start using uh, this uh, this operating system, you know, Mac, uh, in 2007, or I believe. Uh, I tend to, you know, as a, a new user, to add, have lots and lots of applications. Now I don't have that many applications, but in the in the past I had lots and lots of applications. And when I found that they are not useful anymore, I drag it. You know, I put the application and, uh, you know, I go ahead and put it in the, in the trash. Uh, in fact, you shouldn't do that because there are lots of files that are uh, hid hidden and you are only deleting the application and you are not deleting the preferences, the preference panes and everything that are in your library. OK, uh, because let's imagine. If I go here to, and this is the application, it's free, you can go and download, it's called App Cleaner, okay? It's free. Uh, let's, I will make a test with you and you will see. Let's imagine. Uh, I want to delete, uh, for example, okay, why not Skype? Let's go ahead. Uh, Skype, what is Skype? Skype. Skype. Okay, if I put it in the trash, the only thing that you'll see, of course, this is another thing that I have, it's called Clean My Mac. The only thing that you'll see, it's the application, okay? And you will delete the application. Let's put this again on the same, on the same spot, because I don't want to delete Skype, okay? And, and now let's make the same test and put Skype on the app cleaner and you'll see the difference. See, it will fetch, if you delete only the application, as you can see, it's only 50 megabytes, but app cleaner fetched some other, uh, you know, related or P lists or, or some other folders that are related to Skype. For example, this folder has 129, 129 megabytes. And if you didn't uh, use the, this uh, application, you only deleted f the application and only 50 megabytes. So sometimes people uh, tend to why I don't have the, the what happened to my space in the in the disk I'm deleting application that everything seems you know uh, that's why because you have uh, in your 
of course I have open here in, on my Mac Pro the library application support you have lots and lots and lots of things that are here okay uh, on the preferences for example you have lots of things this in fact is blocked but uh, it's blocked on original uh, OS but Cocktail allows you to tweak that and you have the library uh, available to mess around but uh, be careful because you can delete some something that is important and you mess up everything and then you will have a, a, a big problem and now you go to library here on my you know username my account and you have every everything everything so preferences see if you delete only the application it will not go and and fetch all this you know that is connected to the to the application sorry about the rambling but this is important okay so another thing that i use it's called for me i use it and i already cleaned in total 10.56 gigabytes you can make a scan of your computer okay uh, and of course you can make a system cleanup uh, you can go ahead and see your large and old files I photo clean up for the duplicates and everything uh, an installer is the same thing as uh, you know if I click here as you can see you will go and not only delete the application but there is a preference related to the same application so uh, guys this is the way uh, um, I you know uh, keep my my Mac uh, running smooth okay now there is of course uh, some other things that you can do for example uh, purge your memory it's very simple and the thing that you have to go is go to terminal and uh, uh, you have to write only sudo purge okay and then it will ask you for your password you you enter your password uh, it will not appear here okay it will not appear anything here and click enter and it will uh, purge it will you know in fact liberate or uh, unused sometimes as you know memory in the max work differently uh, from windows and sometimes you see that you have only one application open and you are you know if you have 16 gigabytes like my mac pro has uh, of ram sometimes i have here nine uh, and i'm only using safari for web browsing and uh, you know uh, sometimes I, I go and and put that this command sudo purge and it uh, it will put my memory again like like it was uh, uh, in fact uh, uh making uh, sorry that's why my english skips when i you know tend to uh, not making videos for two months and sorry about that my subscribers know and i have lots of comments about my english but what the heck i don't care uh, the the most important thing is that you 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 can understand me and sorry about my mistakes but well um it's like restarting your computer okay uh, your your memory uh, goes to the you know normal settings when you restart your computer again uh, restarting uh, your computer your mac your computer uh, it's also a good thing to do you know uh, you know at least not no i tend to leave my mac pro always on but sometimes you know i make a restart uh, and everything runs smooth again and uh, guys this is it i think this is a long video now <laughs> like always i hope you enjoy it go ahead try it it will not mess with your computer uh, try these applications uh, clean my mac it's a paid application and cocktail is also a, a paid application the app cleaner is free okay and the other ones that i told you they are uh, the the permissions you can do that uh, it's a, it's part of the your os and the terminal command that i uh, told you it's also very very simple to do i will i'll not do that now because it will mess with my screencast uh, i had that experience in the past so guys i hope you like it 
and uh, that's it that's my tips to make to keep your mac running smooth okay so for me uh, this is all all the best from portugal and i hope to see you on another video bye bye